Hi, my name is Tim Bros, and I'm a product specialist with Aviva. In today's video, we're going to talk about historian retrieval, and specifically with respect to conditional statistics. So the historian comes with out-of-the-box functions for data retrieval, reporting. But what about when it comes to conditional statistics? For example, finding the average flow rate while the valve is open, or finding the peak temperature for a given batch phase, or finding that peak temperature by batch itself. In the past, you had to write a custom stored procedure in SQL, which took expertise and knowledge of not only SQL, but just the problem and, and solution that you're trying to solve. So you'd have to write, you know, kind of a stored procedure like this, that's multiple lines of code. Now, in the historian now, there's a slice by function available where you can add this to your SQL statement and add a where condition that includes a slice by variable. Now this variable can be a discrete, it can be an integer or a string variable. And in this example, we've taken the uh, flow rate of a given uh, system and slice by when a given valve was open or closed and finding the average of that flow rate. So let's take a look about how this is done in the historian client and historian client web tools. All right, so here we are within historian client query and we've navigated to a query type of analog statistics and we've selected a handful of statistical functions. And what we'll do is we'll just pick a couple of tags, in this case, level one and temperature one, and it automatically retrieves those statistics. But if I wanna slice by maybe a variable, maybe a valve of when that was open or closed, for example, in query, I can go to the SQL statement, add the slice by value column in our select statement, and then add an AND uh, clause to our WHERE statement where the slice by tag is equal to our discrete variable. In this case, this is a inlet valve. There we go. And when I click on the data column, it'll automatically execute that, that query and cut up the data in this case, my level and my temperature tags for when the inlet valve was off or closed and the respective statistical functions and when it was open. So that's one way you can do it within query. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like in historian client web. All right, so here we are in our historian client web tool with our level one, temperature one, and inlet one tags selected. And in order to take advantage of the slice by tool, we can change the gallery option to a column chart. Now by default, it'll select average per some unit of time, in this case, a day. Um, but built into this chart is I can change that metric to be per event. And if I have multiple either discrete or string tags, I could select those tags from this drop-down list. In this case, I've only selected my inlet one tag from my search. But as you can see, it automatically divvies up the uh, analog tags when the valve was open or closed. And furthermore, I could, you know, if I want to drill in to see how this level tag prefer, performed when um, this uh, valve was closed, I can drill in and see a trend pen for that specific state. Um, in this case, you'll see the trend and um, the alarm halos for when this tag was an alarm. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.